Kate Middleton shock, extraordinary reason Kate landed title first meant for Sophie Wessex. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge received her royal title upon marrying Prince William in 2011. However, what many royal fans might not know is that Kate's current title was originally meant for Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, 38, became part of the royal family when she tied the knot with Prince William on April 29, 2011. As the wife of a prince Kate automatically received an HRH, Her Royal Highness, style, however, a different story lies behind her Duchess of Cambridge title. Queen Elizabeth II has traditionally given her sons and grandsons dukedoms on their wedding days. Prince Charles, 71, became the Duke of Cornwall when he married Princess Diana and Prince Andrew, 60, was made the Duke of York when he married Sarah Ferguson in 1986. However, the Queen's youngest son Prince Edward was something of an anomaly. When Edward married Sophie, Countess of Wessex in 1999 he was made an Earl instead of a Duke. That's because Prince Edward reportedly rejected the Queen's offer of a dukedom. One source has claimed this is because he favored the name Wessex due to a character in Shakespeare in Love and asked if he could have that instead. A royal courtier told The Telegraph in 2010, he liked the sound of it and asked the Queen if he could have that instead. The Queen is understood to have first offered Edward the Dukedom of Cambridge for him and his wife Sophie to use. However, after Edward turned the title down it remained free to be presented to Prince William and Kate on their wedding day. If Edward had accepted the Queen's initial offer then he and Sophie would be the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge rather than Kate and William. While an earldom is two ranks lower than a dukedom it is understood Prince Edward will inherit his father's Duke of Edinburgh title following his death. In recent years, the Queen also presented Prince Harry with a dukedom on his wedding day so that he and Meghan Markle became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The UK laws around hereditary titles work in favour of male offspring meaning daughters do not inherit them. As future heads of the royal family, Prince William's Duke of Cambridge title will merge with the crown when he becomes king and cease to exist. So unless Prince William dies before he becomes king his dukedom will not be passed on to either of his sons Prince George, 6, or Prince Louis, 2. The Duke of Cambridge title, therefore, has a limited lifespan because it was gifted to an heir to the throne. When Prince Charles becomes king his Duke of Cornwall title will pass to Prince William. That's because the Duchy's 1337 charter established that the Duke of Cornwall is the eldest surviving son of the monarch and the heir to the throne. So when the current Prince of Wales exceeds the throne, the Duke of Cambridge will become Duke of Cornwall. By this same logic when Prince William becomes king the Dukedom of Cornwall will pass to his eldest son Prince George. Royal daughters, including Princess Charlotte, Princess Beatrice and Lady Louise Windsor will not be able to inherit their father's titles unless there is a change to the law. As Prince Andrew has no sons it seems like that his dukedom will go to neither Beatrice or Eugenie but could be inherited by their little cousin Prince Louis instead.